Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alvin. I'm a part-time reseller here in Singapore. Today, we are going to talk about how I actually basically make money while I'm selling on the eBay platform. Primarily the US platform. Singapore sellers, we don't really have much we want to sell locally. And if you want to sell overseas, you do need to create an account, a US platform, which is the biggest marketplace, I'll call it. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I primarily sell on eBay. I do occasionally sell on Carousel, which those are loss making. But on eBay, you can actually make money. And for this particular video, we are going to talk about how I do so. If you haven't created an account, maybe you should look at this video. This video I've done uh, many months ago that I've actually created and uh, to showcase how to actually create the account the eBay account and of course the Payoneer account. It's pretty simple. Go through the video over there. And uh, once you're ready, uh, come back to this video. Have a look and see how I actually make money. Uh, I've made a few notes. Um, I'm also going to update you on my last year's performance. Uh, last year was pretty good. Last year, I did better than the previous year in 2021. Last year, I did about 82000 $834.37 are all in US dollars. Of course, that hasn't factored in selling fees, haven't factored in uh, the shipping costs. For gross sales itself, everything lumped together, it's 82000 Compared to the previous year, which is in 2021, which is 60000 $60,979. Although I did more in sales, I actually had to sell more items and per unit item. So, uh, for last year, 2022, uh, per unit item is about 102 uh, US dollars versus the previous year, 2021, was in 144 US dollars. So there is a big drop, partly because um, recession is looming. Uh, recession will come to us. People are tightening their wallets. They are buying lesser things, you know. Uh, but of course, for me, uh, for this video, I'm going to just let you know that you still can make money even though you make less or more it's up to you how you do it the first thing is you do need to know what or what you cannot ship on the international platform because in singapore uh, primarily nobody uses ebay everybody uses either facebook marketplace or uh, carousel but to sell internationally i would let you know that ebay is the way to go but you do realize that you have you are shipping internationally. So international uh, import limitations, prohibitions are there. You do need to realize that mostly anything that comes with batteries is a no-go. The batteries inside, especially lithium batteries, so your, you know, your cameras that have inbuilt batteries, your computer that have inbuilt batteries, laptops, anything that has lithium batteries in it, you cannot ship, sadly. Uh, but of course, those that are batteries that are you know taken away from it, maybe they're placed uh, separately in the box itself. You can still ship them, uh, but you do need to kind of declare that it's away from it. And button batteries, button batteries is a contentious uh, debate on uh, whether you can ship or not ship. I will tell you right now, you still can ship them, uh, provided it's separate. But to a certain country like Australia, which has banned uh, button batteries being imported uh, or you know, coming into the country. So you there are a lot of cases that uh, a lot of pre-orders that have done uh, through you know, the collectibles that have uh, small little button batteries, you know, toys for babies and all that. You They can't ship. They basically cannot ship into Australia. So for that in purpose, if you have any toys or any collectibles that have the button battery in it, you have to remove them if you can, which means you, of course, you need to uh, open the packaging and everything so that also devalues the uh, collectible that is another story altogether just for this alone you did need to know that what you can ship or cannot ship you did need to understand uh, each and every countries that one you do need to uh, go and you know further deep dive and further find out and then do educate yourself for that next item that you need to figure out is you need to understand the shipping cost per item each and every item um, there's a shipping cost and to ship internationally with the shipping rates that have keep going up year on year uh, you do need to factor that into it um, for hindsight this video that I did on QS is still relatively still okay to get through it but 
Q Express has also gone up in price. Everything in how they actually calculate their weight, they don't calculate actual weight anymore. Uh, to you, to the major countries like US, Canada, Australia, this everything is through volumetric weight. So you do need to measure the length, breadth, and height of the packaging itself, which also means that it's going to cost you quite a bit of money. That alone, the shipping cost you do need to factor in before you know whether you can actually profit that item while you sell on the eBay platform. Of course, you do need to talk about the selling fees, which that one I will touch upon later in another video. But for that hindsight, you do need to know your shipping cost. Uh, I will also update on everyone how I'm going about uh, with the price increase, which is quite a lot for Q Express. I will also talk about which other courier service I am attempting to use. I haven't done any shipping to it. Once I've done the shipping out from using the courier service, and then I will report back to you guys and let you know whether is it successful and how's the shipping rate like. I don't recommend using SingPost at all, uh, primarily because you're selling on the US platform, the eBay platform. That platform uh, to US, the registered mail doesn't work. The speed post tracking also doesn't work. So. Uh, you can't track on the USPS pla uh, the platform, which primarily is the receiving partner for Singpo. So <sighs> sadly, you do need to figure out other source of uh, uh, shipping method. For that, maybe we'll do another video another time. So you need to also know how to ship your item, as in how to actually pack the item. You do need to pack the item in such a way that it does not shake in the box. As in the box itself, you do need to pack the surrounding of the item with enough uh, materials like bubble wrap, like uh, any paper, you know, newspaper is also okay. But you do need to bear that in mind that it adds to the weight, which adds to your shipping cost. So you do need to bubble wrap everything. You do you, you kind of need to have it uh, shipped to the, the the recipient safe and sound, the way it's meant to be. While you take the picture on your eBay platform, the eBay platform, the picture itself. If you take actual pictures of it, it needs to arrive to the customer, to the uh, buyer as what the picture shows. If not, there will be a dispute. So you do need to factor that in mind. The next thing that you need to know is it needs to be delivered. What I mean by delivered means you it needs to have a tracking so that it to show that it actually gets delivered to the doorstep of the recipient. Um, like I say, I, we don't use Singpos. We don't use speed post because it doesn't show the actual tracking all the way to the, the recipient sadly for, for most countries lah, like i mean most countries still okay the, the 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 minor countries maybe you know like to argentina to peru maybe to uk still okay but to us canada australia which i primarily sell to sometimes it's bonkers that the tracking number doesn't show uh the tracking the full tracking the last mile tracking to the recipient which is quite kind of sad lah, actually uh, so that's that so you do need to have a tracking number that actually works and it get needs to get delivered if not there will be a dispute last but not least the last thing that you need to know and you this is quite important is if you need to know whether your item actually sells on the ebay platform as in what can be sold and how much it sells for on the ebay platform for that you can actually use the completed listing uh the sold listings while you type out you know let's say if you are selling a, a pokemon card or selling a pokemon you know for me the pokemon steelbook or for me the the, the items that the, i primarily sell because collectibles i sell collectibles uh, offhand and i will tell you right now how i actually make money is i do need to curate my items uh, and put on the ebay platform i will basically just you know go through and figure out what is sold, um, you know, typing in the, the, the description itself. And you see the sold listings, see how much it actually garners for it. And I tell you very frankly, uh, it has, uh, because of the, the recession looming and, you know, everybody's tightening their belt, they're not really spending as much as they can on uh, the ones rather they are spending more on their needs because of inflation. So you do need to realize that uh, the price of things that you can sell at and then profit on is dwindling. But again, it doesn't mean that you cannot sell. Maybe you want to sell down your collection and then get the money away. It's fine. But you do need to, again, figure out that what the item is 
on the platform, you do need to know whether the item can sell on the platform. The platform itself is pretty intuitive. You need to just go to the completed leasing, see what's sold, see the price on it, factor in your shipping costs and everything, and then you minus off and see whether it actually sells and you see how much you are taking back from the you know the item you sold. So these are the things that you need to factor that uh, while you actually can make money. This is how I do it. Uh, maybe you can leave a comment below down on the comment section and then let me know why are you stopping you from actually selling on the eBay platform? And if you're selling on eBay platform, why is it not you know, selling? I, I will also maybe do a video on what are the few things to take note while you are selling on the eBay platform. So for that in mind, thank you so much for watching. Do like the video, do subscribe, do share with uh, your, your whoever is thinking of selling on the eBay platform with this video and I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care everyone and I'll see you. Bye bye.